Hello, collective, wherever you are. Hope you're somewhere safe, somewhere's warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share if you like to share it. And please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you'd like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart, I have time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. And to everybody who has been, thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. And for the super thanks as well. Thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. Alright guys, let's see what's happening here. Alright, so this card um, is just like... it. it it's the extra card that comes in this deck. I said that the intention for it, God stepped in, it's God's, um, it's in God's hands. So God stepped in, it's in God's hands when it comes to a couple or your ex possibly, or possibly you coming into union. Yeah, you had this person blocked as your ex. Could be a King Cups in reverse. They're trying to block your love offer. It's coming in your thumb um, to you. They ain't blocking shit. Keep anybody from your past that you cut off, keep them in the past, please, guys. They're only trying to ruin your shit. Yeah, Six of Swords, you moved away from them, or you're about to. And trust me, um, it was the best thing you could have possibly did. Because look, now that you moved away, or you're about to, you know, all hell's about to break loose. Um, you know, because you're out, of, and it's your ex, or, or a couple, or something, shit like that. You know, because, you know, you're moving away onto, like, you know, smooth landing. All right, because he's, you know, you're coming out of rough waters into smooth sailing. All right, um, now Cormac can come in and, and just wreak havoc, you know, back, back there. Okay, <laughs> so it's a good fucking thing that you left this person <laughs> or these people because they are going through major, major karma right now. They deserve it. Yeah, they've been exposed. It could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. They've been exposed for all the bullshit that they've done. Also, if you moved, I feel like, well, um, it, it's, it, it's exposed why you moved and, like, why you left this person. And they're trying to find out where you live. They're trying to locate you. They might have, but don't worry, you're protected. They're, like, they're stalking you. You're getting good luck and fortune. They're heavily burdened about this. You're getting good karma. They're getting bad karma. They're going to prison for the, whatever the fuck they did. definitely your ex for what they invested in holy spirit divine spirit angels ancestors and loved ones have passed away what does the collective need to know what do they need to be aware of at this time please and thank you oh struggle jennings um god we need you now i absolutely love that song i love struggle <clears throat> i love struggle jennings too he's fucking absolutely amazing um that song's playing in my head right now so I guess they're like, I don't know, they might even be praying to God now. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones that Passed Away. What does the collective need to know? If you don't know that song, you need to listen to it. It's a really good song. It's an amazing song. Two of Swords are trying to block you. They ain't blocking shit. And look, <laughs> like it says right here, I am Zen, so F off. You know? Ever since you left these people, like you've been, you found your inner peace, your you know your happiness, your joy, your abundance. All right, and they're not coming in to block nothing. They ain't stopping nothing. Keep these people in the past. They're trying to block you and stop you. They ain't blocking shit. You need to cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. You're getting some sort of quick communication um, about how someone's in grief, pain, sorrow, agony. You're like, bye, bitch. You're, someone's getting locked up. I'm strolling, getting at your ex. You're gonna get some sort of quick communication about this. Six of Wands, you're getting victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame. And also, I'm strongly getting your ex is gay. On on low key, like I feel like they they hide this. They hide the fact that they're gay. Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Oh, shit, yeah, they're getting bad karma when I tell you major bad karma. Someone can play darts. <gasps> Excuse me, that's all painful confirmation. Lord Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they're getting, <laughs> their whole world is, like, upside down right now. <laughs> all right, um, somebody has, a, like, you know, a target on you. They, like, they, 
they uh, put a hit out on you, too. They're being exposed for this. Yeah, Nine of Wands are heavily burdened. Look how pissed off that. <laughs> Look how pissed off. This reminds someone to think of be Donnie. This is making me think of um Donnie Darko. If you ever seen the movie Donnie Darko, um, it's like a tripping movie when um it's like a, like I don't know. It makes you feel like you're tripping face. Um, and it's like it's he dresses up as a rabbit. His name's Donnie. Donnie um Donnie Darko. I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie, <laughs> but I just instantly thought of that movie. Someone's name could be Donnie or Donald or or Don. But yeah, look, look at his face though, he's so pissed off, <laughs> they're, they're getting some sort of physical, mental, um, and or emotional, or spiritual ass weapon, or all the above. Holy Spirit, oh, that song No Rain is playing in my head. Somebody could be overdosing from a heroin over, uh, have a heroin overdose, because a little girl that played that's dressed as that bumblebee outfit in that um in the video from um Blind Melon No Rain, she passed away from an overdose, and I just like I started picture I just started I seen in my third eye I just like pictured the the video from Blind Melon No Rain and the little girl dressed up in a bumblebee suit and she's like dancing in the field, um, I just had a, like a vision of her. And she passed away from an overdose. Somebody might be, and it was like from a heroin overdose, somebody might be passing away. Or maybe somebody did and they're getting in trouble for this. Two of wands, they, um, yeah, whatever their plans are. You're planning your whole new future and they're like heavily burdened about this, okay? Because you're in your purpose. You took this leap of faith, this new journey, you healed, all right? Um, we have four, four. They're, and they feel left out because they're losing out on opportunities. They realize that you healed and you, you took a sleep of faith, you know, and this new journey and you're in your purpose now and you're planning your whole new world. 92 can be significant. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones that passed away. What does the um, collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. All I can say is that my life is pretty clean. Watching the puddles gathering. Oh, here's the Queen of the Swords. Yeah, keep your fucking sword up to these people. All right, and it's because of that. They're trying to frame you, set you up, do something. They're trying to do some bullshit, but you have your sword up to these people. So now they're going through a major bad karma because you're not allowing them back in and you moved away. All right, keep your sword up. All right, there's also confirmation. I'm telling you right now, you're going to find out that your, your, um, your ex is secretly gay. That's really a woman. I mean, that's, that's not a woman. That's actually a man. If you, see, if you look real close, that's a man that's dressed as a woman. And it's their secret. See that moon right there? It's their, like, you know, not that I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But, but to them, you know, it's their deep, dark secret. Look at all the darkness behind them. The moon right there. They don't want anybody to know this. Somebody could have a lot of tattoos. This could be you or them. Somebody could be into, like, the old, um, like, the old school fucking, um, flash work tattoos. Like, they, they, could, they could, like, flash tattoos. That could be indicator. Somebody could be a tattoo artist. Yeah, they're being exposed. They see you have your sword up all happy, you know, living life, live, you know, all prosperous and like, you know, um, actually truly happy. It has these people heavily burdened, okay? Some about some sort of move was exposed. Maybe they tried to move. They could have tried to run. They were, they were they found out somebody's location was was discovered. Either you moved and they found you, or they tried to move to outrun fucking this bad karma. You can't outrun karma, homie. You can't outrun karma. They were been exposed. Ace of Wands. You're having passionate new beginnings. Somebody's overindulging in drugs and alcohol. Somebody could be taking um. E bombs like ecstasy or Molly, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones that passed away. What does the collective need to know? Thank you. Ace of Swords, everything I said, Ace of Swords Truth plus 1 million percent Ace of Swords Truth has come out. And you are free of their bullshit. Yes, you are.
and I feel like when your ex dresses up as the opposite sex, they try to dress like you. So fucking creepy. Like, I'm strongly getting to, they could have stole your clothes. Like, you could have put clothes on and found out, like, it, 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 like, they felt stretched out or something. It's because they were wearing it. Or, um, you know, if your clothes were missing, it's because he fucking, your ex was a shweirdo and was stealing your fucking clothes. I go, and when they, they, they're envious of your look, they love the way that, they, you know, they're envious of you, like how, how beautiful you are. Um, and they try, when they do their makeup and stuff, like, this is a masculine energy I'm picking up that dresses up like a woman, secretly. They try to steal your, your, your ideas, like your, the way they do, the like way you do your makeup and stuff. They try to dress as you. They, and I'm strongly getting, they stole your fucking clothes. And they hate how, like, free-spirited you are and how, like, you just don't give a fuck, like, what people think about you or say about you or anything. You're so one million, quadrillion percent authentic and true and real and true to yourself and others. They do not like this at all. They do not like it at all, at all. And they're so jealous and envious of that because they're so fake and phony. They, they can't be themselves. All right, and they hate how that you how you are you know one million percent authentic and true to yourself, which is so weird because I just don't understand that. Like, why are you mad and hating on somebody because they can be themselves, and you talk all this shit about the person and you you don't like them, but yet you dress as them and you you try to be them. Like, if you could, if they could skin you and wear your body as a skin suit, they would. Which is so fucking weird and creepy to me. Like, be yourself, bro. Like, respect by Pantera just started playing in my head. Like, be yourself by yourself. Stay the fuck <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> a lesson learned in life. Don't fuck the dawn of time. <laughs> respect. Walk. What do you say? That's Pantera. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. The one when the Ace of Truth came out about this inheritance that was stolen from you. The world's completion is the end of a cycle. You're getting this victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame. And they're like, bye, bitch. They're getting locked the fuck up. For what? For stealing your inheritance. <laughs> Fucking losers. <laughs> Have fun in prison, bitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angel. At least they can be themselves in prison, though. You know what I mean? Like, they can, you know... Um, they can at least, like, because they're secretly gay in prison, it's okay. Like, they're going to, like, big prison, you know what I mean? So, it's alright. They can at least be themselves and free there, you feel me? Like, the fuck? Three of Wands, yeah. Your, your ships are coming in, They and they know, okay, they know that someone's going to fucking prison, it's them. They know they're going to prison, they know that this, this, uh, your ships are coming in, and whatever you're doing, and plus this inheritance is coming back to you. Um, you might be traveling around the world. I'm surely getting that with the world card here. Somebody could, um, like motorcycles or have a motorcycle. Something about motorcycles is very significant. Travel the world in the seven seas everybody's looking for something um yeah somebody's trying to run away but they've been exposed okay yeah they see you too like they're you're actually truly happy they hate that they hate they are so burdened about your happiness, your joy, your abundance, your prosperity, about you getting what you deserve. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, look how much they're living in straight darkness. And they hate that. Look at you. You're not. Look how, like, colorful and brightful you are. Like, and just, like, how zen and, like, even, like, when they try to make it dark for you, you still turn that darkness into color and joy and love and, like, prosperity. <laughs> like, they hate that. <laughs> they hate that because they're constantly living in darkness and fear um, in complete, like, utter 
fakeness. And I just don't get it because like your life is way harder than fucking their life has been. And they're just, they're so envious of you because you can always turn your life around. Like whenever, whatever. And it's because they, they purposely cause you all this pain and agony and darkness. Like, and it's just insane to me. They, and they're so envious for that. You, no matter what, you like, your life's been way, way harder or way fucking harder than their life. And I feel like they're older than you too. And yet like they still have, they want to boohoo and cry about spilt milk over like nothing like if they they could never walk they want to dress like you be like you they wish they could be you but yet they could never walk a fucking day in your shoes never they could never and they're starting to get so a little bit of this they're getting their karma coming back they're not a little bit they're getting bad karma <laughs> they're getting bad karma let me just tell you <laughs> all right but like they, they want to know how Whenever you are in the darkness, that people purposely cause you, purposely put you in the darkness. How the fuck you still turn it around and made it so zen? Do you know what I mean? Like, you still turn that darkness into, look at the color. Like, you still, you know, you're just like, whatever. Whatever bullshit they send your way. You're still, you know, even through the darkness, you still found the color. You still, you felt, you know, always had the light. You never lost the light. And you turned into, like, you know, this beautiful little how much light there is, how happy pros and prosperity it is, you know they're they're fucking losers um they want to live a life of lies and um you know try to try to put a hit out on you someone's going to prison for literally trying to unalive you and it was for its inheritance they're trying to run away but they're they're uh they're exposed wherever they tried to run to they're caught they've been exposed it could be a leo or you could be a leo or something about a leo is involved here too or they were working with a leo holy spirit divine spirit angels ancestors and the ones that passed away what is the collective needed thank you they're drinking themselves to death nine of cups you're getting ultimate wish fulfillment they're trying to block this ain't blocking shit they know that's a complete ending that they know that they're done they know it's completely over for them. So they're drinking themselves to death or drugging themselves to death. Also, they're also caught up for trying to poison you or drug you. You're getting ultimate wish fulfillment. Eight of swords, they're going to prison. They know it. That's why they're fucking, they're drugging themselves and drinking themselves to death. Whatever they did is hitting the news. It's going to be like, it's hitting the papers, it's hitting the news. Um, they're heavily burdened about this. There's something about same-sex stuff. Like, again, like, there's nothing wrong with that. But to them, there it is. It's their biggest, deepest, darkest secret. And they're, they're overindulging in drugs and alcohol. They're also overeating. You know, um, I feel like next time you see this person, like... You, they don't look the same as what they did the last time you've seen them. And I'm sure, like, getting their, like you know, they're overeating, over, overeating for sure. Look how big he is right here. And look at him here. Again, there's nothing wrong with that either. But, you know, it's just, it's, they're eating their feelings. And it's because they see you happy, okay? Maybe you got into, they see you happy with this family, you know, love and life and, and, you know, seeing the sun and they're in just complete utter darkness. Um, you know, utter darkness, hate in life, um, stalking you, creeping on you. You're going to be reading about them for sure. They're like daydreaming and shit about you. I feel like you're, they're dreaming of you. They could have had a dream of you with your, um, what, did that come out? I don't even know if that came out. I don't know if that came out. Did that come out? I'm just gonna put it back in because I don't know if that came out or not. I don't remember. I think that was at the bottom of the deck. But either way, um, if it's supposed to come out, it'll come back out. But yeah, they're going to prison for what they did to you. And something for possibly about a passing, maybe they were involved in something to do. Some, and there was also for grave robbing, doing something in a graveyard. Good information. They're in a like, necromancy or something like that. Involved in necromancy. You're going to get some... Dude, this is just going to blow your mind when you find out what, the, what your ex was involved in. And what their plans were for you. 
and they know they're drinking themselves or drugging themselves to death too because they're afraid of this all coming out this is 2024 it's a year of karma you know everything is being exposed everything is being exposed this year and they fucking know it too they're scared to death but yeah there's something about they're doing some sort of they were going in a cemetery playing in the cemetery um not only like doing like their whatever bull crap you know spells hexes whatever you know in there but they're digging up graves they're doing something like with like messing with um with graves someone's last name could be graves this could be your last name or somebody involved or passed on loved ones your ex also has an entity attachment to them And I'm sure, like, something about Philadelphia could be significant. But they were robbing graves, and, like, you know how, like, when someone passes away, and you, they put jewelry on, or they put, you know, stuff in the cemetery, like, in the, in the grave with them, they're stealing, um, jewelry. You know, they're digging them up, they're stealing body, like the bones, you know, to do whatever necromancy weird shit that they're doing. And, like, they, I feel like they might have put on a live somebody and put somebody in, like, they took the, like, they were taking, like, like I don't know, maybe they put somebody in the, in, I'm just seeing, in my third eye, I'm seeing, like, them digging up somebody, like, in a graveyard digging somebody up and they're mm. taking bones um of, of of somebody that was in the grave and they're also taking jewelry and they put like a actual body into this into this um like they were taking the bones out of like you know what i mean from the person that was in there they're using the, the bones for whatever their curse or whatever their spells whatever they're doing whatever necromancy bullshit weird shit that they're doing but then they were also putting an actual body in this in this grave. It looks like a... But this grave that I'm seeing in my third eye... It looks very old. Like it's like an old cemetery. Like it looks run down or maybe like abandoned. I feel like they thought that because maybe maybe it is maybe it's abandoned, and because it it looks very dark. Of what, and maybe I don't know if it's just because it's nighttime, but it's very dark, and it, it just looks very run down, very old. And maybe it is maybe it's abandoned or something. And they thought they were never going to get caught. No, they're fucking caught up. Oh, they're caught up. And they have, like, the cops have drones out there. They have put cameras out there, too. There's even cameras on some of the, the um, <laughs> some of the graves. Because, like, they go to this grave a lot. This grave, whatever this is, a lot. And they do a lot of their, their shady shit in there. A lot of shady shit. There's, like, trees by that they have cameras in. There's, and it's, there's cameras on, like, the grave stones. On some of the grave stones. Like, really small ones, though. It's, like, you wouldn't be able to tell. Or maybe they work for the graves, the, that, that cemetery. They might work there or something. Or it's like run down. It's a, or like it's, it's like, um, it's either like abandoned or they, maybe they work there. Cause I don't know how the fuck they'd be going in, like what? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they work for the cemetery. It's they either work there or they know somebody that works there. Or it's an abandoned cemetery or something. Or they thought it was and maybe it's not. They're going to fucking prison for this though. And they know it.
Yeah, especially if it's abandoned and like when they dig it up, you know how the dirt looks different. Like it's, you know what I mean? It's not grass no more. It's dirt. It's like you can tell when a, when a grave is like, what the fuck? So it has to be either abandoned, so they thought, or like they worked there and then maybe when they, I don't know. They weren't thinking too clearly when they did this though. And I feel like they've done it a lot. And I feel like they do it in more than one place too. Like there's this one main cemetery that they go to, but I'm also seeing different. I feel like they go, um, also they find cemeteries, like they look in the, in a newspaper they find out when someone's going to, when someone gets buried, and they wait until, like, after, you know what I mean, the person gets put down, and then they go, they break in in the middle of the night, and they dig the person back up. They try to get into the, the, the cemetery, like, into the, the coffin after, um, after, like, because when the, when the dirt is already dug up, you know what I mean? So they, and, like, so the person's still fresh, too, and they go in and they rob they rob them of their, um, of their jewelry and stuff. This person's going straight to fucking hell. That you ought to, like, I don't even like when somebody steps on a cemetery, like, on a grave. Like, I don't, I don't like that. Like, I don't like that. That's so disrespectful. But for somebody to go and disturb somebody's peace and the, what the fuck, and to dig them up and steal their belongings? Are you fucking kidding me? I feel like every cemetery should have cameras in it, for real. Like, you're supposed to respect the dead. Maybe they, maybe there's a cemetery that did, maybe this is how they got caught. I feel like every cemetery should have cameras and security. And, like, this is part of the reason why you're not supposed to be at a cemetery after hours. When it gets dark out, just like a park, you're not supposed to be at a park after, um, you know, after it starts to get dark out. Because people do weird shit like this. Like, that's the thing like, that really happens, people. Like, this is, like, a real fucking thing. It's disgusting. It shouldn't happen. Like, it's completely disgusting. But this is how these people, some of these people get there. They're, you know what I mean? Like, how do you think they get, like... The, the equipment they need for necromancy and shit they do they you know either probably the dark web or they go get it themselves at like cemeteries and shit like can you fucking imagine oh god it's fucking disgusting six of pentacles you're getting some sort of major blessing okay generous blessing it's a gift from god um you're gonna be able to bless the pockets of other people they know about this too and they're butthurt about this because they can't they can't stop it they can't block it somebody could have had breast implants or is trying to save for breast implants there's something significant about breast implants maybe it's your ex maybe they're trans um transit trans you know the word trying to trans they're, I can't even say the word. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. They're in deep emotional pain. They're watching you in deep emotional pain. See how like, it's a circle in your eyes. It's your ex. They're heartbroken secretly though. Maybe they're going to finally come out the closet. And they might be trying to save her breast implants. I feel like your ex is like older too. Did I say that already? Like older than you. And they don't they don't like the fact that you that you're as smart and wise as you are and that like you are more protected and more powerful than them and it's come to their realization that you are a lot more powerful than them and they're butthurt about this they're so butthurt they don't want to um, accept the fact but they yeah and look your ex is definitely gay it's two women confirmation Somebody could be into disco music. Oh, 
Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones have passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Thank you. Yeah, you release this devil. Keep your sword up from this motherfucker, okay? And I'm telling you, there's something... Not only, like, your your ex is in some weird, 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 sick, deranged, twisted stuff. They're in a lot of stuff. And I'm telling you right now, it's something about children. Something deep, dark, and about children. They're going to get caught up for, they are caught up for a lot of stuff. Oh my God. Ever since they were a child, too. They were into weird shit. But they're getting caught up for something to do with children, too. You released this devil, okay? You had the power, the strength to release this fucking devil in your life. And thank God you did. Because their plans they had for you is something you only want to know. But they're getting their ass beat down right now. About the Ace of Swords truth coming out. And you freeing. And also they were going around lying to people about why they used to split up. They were saying all types of weird creepy lies about you. The truth is all the one million percent East Swords truth that's come out about it. And like now they're getting their asses spanked like a little kid. Like, you know, back in the day. Like how we used to get our asses beat. You know what I mean? Or like how our parents got our, their asses beat. Like how my papa my grandfather used to whoop my ass. <laughs> like that kind of ass whooping. And um but even worse. <laughs> Because of one million percent answer was truth. Every little skeleton, every single skeleton is being pulled out the um out of their closet and they're being pulled out the closet too. Cause they're secretly gay. And they don't want nobody to know about this. And there's some sort there's something about children too that they're getting caught up for too because they've been under investigation for uh, quite some time right now. It's been quite some time. Um longer than you could probably even imagine all right now also they're getting caught up there there's something to do with children there's something on hot, hard drives um something or maybe something to do with either a black web or there's something on, on with their hard drives they got caught up in or their internet something they're looking up with children two of wands somebody could be in the military um, thank you for your services to anybody and everybody who's um, ever served for the United States mil uh, military. God bless your beautiful souls. Um, yeah, you're planning your whole new world. And look, it's two men kissing again. They look at you like they want to know who you are, where you're from. They don't think you're from this planet. They, f they look at you like like an alien or something they think that like you're you're like where are you from dude like what, what planet are you from how are you this strong how are you this powerful but you're planning your whole new world all right um i feel like they might even be planning to like just come out because everybody's starting to find out there's something some sort of somebody caught them or they're being forced out the closet so i feel like they're like daydreaming about just coming out how life would be if they could just be authentic and be themselves and be like you like how you can just be yourself and you don't care you have zero fucks to give what anybody thinks or says about you well yeah like stay true to yourself who cares what anyone thinks or says about you just be yourself like what the fuck